There's tornado right there in front of us. Yep, tornado on the ground. Yep, call it in. Need to report at least this one. I gotta make sure my camera's picking this up. This is unreal. Somebody's jacket or oh that's a piece of debris. A piece of debris hit their car. What's going on my Storm Chaser family? It's Storm Chaser Chad here. And today's video is part two of what is a multi-day severe weather outbreak. Yesterday, if you haven't seen the video, somewhere on the screen you have to click on it because yesterday was by far my greatest ever Arkansas tornado chase ever yesterday was insane it was intense we met some kind of famous people in the storm chasing community though we didn't you know physically meet hand in hand but you know hey we saw them so you know I still count that but today's chase we still have more unfinished business to take care of back down in Texas, around the Waco area. Yeah, Mother Nature shifted on us, and instead of chasing in Oklahoma like I had really wanted to, she decided, hey, since you had some unfinished business yesterday in Arkansas, how about you finish that unfinished business that you had there in Texas too? So I was like, you know what? Challenge accepted. So. I gave my buddy Chris a call, who's a meteorologist and uh, somebody that I turn to whenever I have questions about something that I don't know in the weather. And he helps me out, and he's going to be in this video. So hopefully we can get us, he can take us to the NATO. Anyway, be sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't, turn on the notification bell, and get ready because... Uh, this is part two of a tornado chase, and part three is gonna to be tomorrow. And that's gonna be a good one too. We'll see y'all here in just a hot minute. Alrighty guys, and we're back into the action. We are under a tornado watch in Bellmead, just north of Waco. We're in our primary zone, and I brought a friend with me today. He is the person that I turn to when I have any kind of question, weather related, models, the photographs, Chris Saxon. What's going on? You want to give us a, a kind of a lowdown of what we got going on here in the next hour? All right, we have a semi discrete line of supercells forming up west of Interstate 35, moving east at about 35 knots. The uh, main risk for this line of severe thunderstorms is baseball-sized hell. Gross. And a small chance of some lower-end tornadoes. Ooh. All right. Now, as you can see, it's uh, getting kind of dark. I don't know if there it goes. It's getting a little... Uh, we're, we're just just on the outer edge of it. Uh, let's see if we can get it to focus in on here. As you can see where Waco is, just on I-35, we're right ahead of it. So... We're about to get us into a little bit of a better position. Uh, may head out a little bit west, kind of get towards it. Maybe it'll mature enough by then, and uh, we'll get back into some action. All right, another update. The National Weather Service just issued a PDS tornado warning for this storm that we are on. A PDS means it's a particularly dangerous situation. It's been radar confirmed tornado on the ground. Uh, Chris measured maybe wind speeds of 190 miles an hour at 1,500 feet up in the, in the air with the what radar is indicating. Um, that is crazy. Um, it looks like it could be potentially getting cut off right now, but um, we're about to drop south on this highway and be right in prime position to see inside of this, uh, this supercell. Alright, so update number two. We have ourselves a new developing wall cloud. And also over here we have another storm with an updraft developing on that. As you can see, we are looking due west into that, which is what that is directly ahead of us, is our new developing wall cloud. You can almost make out the, the entire meso. If anything does change within the next hot minute, which uh, with the way things have been, it, we could have another massive tornado on the ground here in just a second. You got anything to add? Nope. Nope. He's just excited. He's he's quiet. When he, <laughs> you know he's he, you know he's serious when he gets quiet and he starts focusing on radar. But look at that. You can actually. Yeah, the rotation has tightened up since the yep. left scan. Yep. That's the that is the meso all up here, and then right above the tree line. 
Yep, yeah, there's your wall cloud right and there in the wall center. wall cloud is right there. And then we've got a new updraft developing behind that that uh, if this one doesn't produce, which I'm not, I I'm, I'm wouldn't see why this would not produce another massive tornado, uh, we'll be all over this. So action's getting good. This is day number two of some uh, tornadoes. So uh, let's get into it. It's literally that right there. We could have just stayed right in where we was. <laughs> we literally could have just stayed right there. I mean, we got a clear view. It's not oh, like... Oh, yeah. No. I mean, it's coming right at us. We're in the outflow of it now. Yeah. I hear it roar. Got a funnel cloud developing right in front of us. Funnel cloud. I gotta roll up my window. There's two areas of rotation. Yeah, there is. I can't tell if it's on the ground or not, but that is really intense. Here, hop in. There's a tornado right there in front of us. Yep, tornado on the ground. Yep, call it in. Need to report at least this one. We're, we can't confirm that one's on the ground. That is dropping right there. And this is it's literally- It's gonna crash to the north of us, just pull over somewhere. Yeah, I'm just gonna probably inch over right here for right now. Oh, wow. I'm just gonna report. Tornado warning? Tornado warning. Yep. Imagine, yep, there goes my phone, tornado warning. Yeah, we're right on it now. And right, look at that. Yeah, I know, I saw it, I saw it. Tornado warning right for us in our area it is it literally is right, right here. Now I guarantee you there was two areas of rotation, but that one right there, that was a tornado. That was a very brief tornado, but it definitely was one. Oh yeah. It should pass directly in north of us though. I think we're in the best spot we can be. I think it's coming right at us, dude. It literally looks like it's moving right at us. It's not moving left to right. Is that a funnel right in front of us? Go ahead and hop in. Hop in, hop in. Whew, hurry, I'm gonna drop south a little bit. All right, so where do we need to go? We need to go straight, it's right behind us. You need to go faster, man. A little bit faster. Okay. <laughs> I can only go so fast, but it's literally right behind us? Yeah, it's right behind us. Not even a well behind. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. Hang on, let me see if I can show it. Oh, wow. That was literally right there. I'm having to fight the wind on this. Oh, oh my gosh, right the wind is blowing. It is pushing my truck, dude. Oh, my God. We are literally right here beside it. This is getting unreal. We are trying to outrun this tornado. All right, there's gonna be a hard lift right up here. I see, I see, I see, good call, good call. Uh, which way is the wind blowing? Into the storm, but once... Uh... But I mean, like, I just wanna make sure I'm in the right position to get, not the hill, on my truck. Oh yeah, you are gonna to wanna to stay right here in this dry spot. Okay. Right. We are going to ride out the storm in Rosebud. There's apparently some golf ball size hail that I don't want to get into. I'm what? 
Yeah, I'm white. But look at the hail core. Well, that's we're in a tornado. We're in a tornado warning. Everybody's freaking out. Everybody's freaking out. I think it's gonna pass just to the south of us. It what? It's gonna pass just to the south Even of then, us. The real circulation's so broad. Yep. And for being so close to the radar, I don't see any real reason to. The hill core that's about to hit us is where I would put the concern at. We got baseball sized hail in there. The good thing about baseball sized hail is it's not as common as the smaller pieces. It's just like one here, then one over there, one over there. So, definitely don't want to be out in it though. Oh gosh, no. Bro, we're in it again. We are in it again, look at this. Here it comes. It's here. Quarter size. You know what this? You know what this is? It's sitting out. We get it all right in it. Oh! I think I got that one. We're getting there. Careful here. Get inside, please. Face. Come on now! What? Get in the truck! <laughs> Get out. Where's the tornado Sirens. warning? Finally. Somebody's jacket or... Oh, that's a piece of debris. A piece of debris hit their car. Got the sirens going off now. Hey! It's shift! We're in it! Windows up, we're inside of it, wind, wind shifted. Yep. All right, so that was intense. Um, we got a lot of hail up to half a dollar size or hail driven wind, which was absolutely insane. Uh, we're still in a tornado warning. We're in Rosebud just to the north end of it. Uh, may have had a brief uh, spin up, um, could have been microburst. But uh, the wind increased substantially here for just a brief second. Saw some debris flying around. And uh, now what we're gonna do is drop off my man Chris and then head back home and get ready for possibly tomorrow's chase. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Like it, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. My man Chris, thank you so much for coming along. I appreciate it. You have uh, put us back into the NATO, so thank you so much for that. Till next time. Oh, there's definitely gonna be a next time, trust me. <laughs> anyway guys, y'all take care, God bless. Love each and every one of y'all, and I will see y'all in the next video. Hey everyone, I'm the Ram and I edited this video. If you liked it, hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to Storm Chaser Chat so you don't miss any of the action. You can find me over at my channel or over in Storm Chaser Chat's Discord, which is the link is below. And remember, hashtag NATO Squad.